Yo, what is poppin' people, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Out of Order, and welcome back to a brand new After Effects tutorial, guys. And uh, in this tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to render it with the best render settings and upscale your footage for the best quality. So yeah, guys, let's get right into the video. Okay, so I made a basic edit. It took around an hour or so. It's nothing too special. It's literally just like one clip. It's like five seconds long. But uh, yeah guys, I'm gonna show you guys what I did, and then I'm gonna be showing you guys how to upscale your footage for the best quality, and then I'll show you the best render settings. So yeah guys, here it is, enjoy! So yeah, that's 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 literally it. That's all I have so far is just this. And yeah, so let's get on to the actual tutorial now. So what I like to do is first things first, I like to upscale my footage to 4K. And uh, to do that, all you're going to want to do is drag your main composition into this button right here to create a whole nother composition. And as you can see, we got a composition right here. And what I like to do next is I like to increase the resolution of this new comp. So this is a new comp. I'm going to name it Render just so uh, we, we know it's organized. And uh, what I'll do here is I'll change the width to around 3840 and the height to around 1728. Now, as you can see, this will basically make it 4K. However, it will change the aspect ratio. So, so what this means is instead of having the black borders PNG or using CC JAWS, you'll have the black borders on the video itself because of the aspect ratio. So if I scale this up, you'll notice a part of it gets clipped at the top and at the bottom. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to scale up your video to where it fits the whole screen. So as you can see right here, it's on the entire screen. So once you resize your composition to make it fit the whole screen, the next thing you're gonna want to do is right click on your composition click on pre-compose and then we're just gonna ca call it upscale and make sure move all attributes into new composition is selected make sure this is checked now once you do that you'll notice that your video gets cropped into the actual you know the frame of the composition of your render so once that's done I like to add BCC magic sharp and you can copy my settings right here these are just some basic settings I have but uh, you're gonna want to play around with your settings on BCC magic sharp and try to try and increase the quality you know sharpen edges make it look less blurry all that good stuff and uh, if your footage is super Super noisy or if you just have you know really bad quality footage you can also add magic bullet denoiser on here so let me just slap denoiser on I don't need it on this clip because these clips are already pretty high resolution but yeah you're gonna want to add magic bullet denoiser if your clips are super blurry or like you know hella distorted or all that stuff you know so yeah once you add BCC magic sharp then you can finally add the RSMB and uh, I'm just using a really basic RSMB preset I made but yeah you can use any RSMB preset you want or any RSMB settings you want want to use just make sure it's on the pre-comp and make sure move all attributes was selected otherwise you might get render bugs and never put your rsmb on an adjustment layer so once you sharpen your footage and add rsmb now i'm going to show you guys how to actually render so i'm going to be showing you how to render with media encoder first so let's launch up media encoder so once you have media encoder open the next thing i like to do is go click on here and click match source and then this will open up a whole nother menu all right guys once this menu is open you're gonna want to go to the top here click h.264 uh for width and height make sure it's the same as your render composition um frame rate i usually do 24 but that's all up to you whatever you're rendering it as and then down here you're gonna want to go to bitrate encoding make it variable bitrate one pass and then here I usually do 100 megabytes per second uh, target and then maximum 150. Now this will all depend on whatever you're making. If you're doing edits and stuff, this is the best quality I recommend for edits. If you're doing a normal gaming video or content video, you might want to lower this down to like 15 to 20, like around that range, you know, just for basic gaming and stuff. But if you're making edits and stuff, I recommend going as high as you can without the file size getting too insane because the file size will increase. As you can see right here, this is the file size for it and uh, make sure use maximum render quality is selected now if you go into audio uh just make sure your settings are all like these bit rate make sure it's 320 and uh, make sure you have it on stereo instead of mono and yeah that's that so once you're done with all these settings click ok and then just click here to select wherever you want to render it to or export it to and then click here to render and you're all good. So that's the easiest, most common way to render. However, guys, I'm going to be showing you another render method, which I prefer. This is how I render my videos. So what I'll do is instead of going to export, 
media encoder, I'm gonna go to render queue. Now with render queue, instead of using the built-in After Effects rendering stuff, what I like to do here is, you know, make sure all your settings are like these, resolutions at full, qualities at best, frame rate, you know, work area or length of comp, depending on what you wanna render. And then down here for output, instead of doing Avi or any of these, I'm gonna be using a plugin called After Codex to render. Now this is how I render all my videos, I use this plugin. So you're just gonna wanna cl click on here, after codex and then format options now you'll notice this thing will pop up right here and uh, for after codex i usually just use h.264 with this one um you can do youtube upload or any of these other ones but i just use the default and then the trade-off i usually do bitrate i don't do quality or file size and then the bitrate you can make this whatever you want i usually do 100 for edits and then 20 for like normal content gaming videos and stuff and then speed i just leave it at the default colors full range you know all this stuff keep it like this audio bitrate i keep it at 320 um and yeah those are basically the settings i use so yeah once you're done with all this click ok and then click ok again and then you can select wherever you want to render to clicking on output to and you're basically done so those are two methods to render and that's how to upscale your footage i usually use the after codex method but sometimes i will use the media encoder method but whichever you prefer is you know whatever works best for you is what you should stick with but uh yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new guys i make videos about editing after effects and all sorts of cool stuff so be sure to subscribe for that and i'll catch you in the next one guys peace